Good afternoon guys, welcome to another edition of Cookie Monsters Model Corner. Uh, the latest parcel has just arrived in the post and I'm trying not to get excited. Oh yes. Come to Daddy. Komatsu PC 4000. So this is a very large box. This is where I could do with a chest mounted GoPro. So this is definitely going to be a two handed job. So, yeah, as you can see, 18 inch long box. It's pretty big because it's a pretty big machine. A few quick specs on the top of the box. Dash 11 PC 4000, 1400 kilowatts. What would that be in horsepower? 1550, 1600 horsepower, thereabouts. 409 tons, 22 cubic meter bucket capacity. A nice shot of it. Dumb load of rock on the top. See the grease buckets either side of the boom. And the extra lugs on the chassis, which I assume are for the backhoe version. Lovely box. Now, as we can see, it's been made by NZG from Germany. This company would be considered one of the big two uh, from Germany, the other being Conrad. They were established in 1968 and have modelled approximately 700 machines to date. Uh, they have managed to capture the best balance of unit cost model detail, production numbers, given a nice balance of collectability and of course availability. There's nothing worse than a very small production run that costs an absolute fortune per model and are so limited that they are like gold dust to get hold of. So NZG have managed to balance this just nicely in my opinion with their manufacturing techniques they've created a model with fantastic technical detail um, very sturdy First thing we have is a little instruction booklet on how to open the box. And I see we have screws. I don't like screws because it just adds more suspense to getting the toy out, but they are necessary for travel protection. So you can see this model, NZG model number is number 933 and it is 1 to 50 scale. And there's the screws, I'm just going to get the screwdriver. I don't know about you guys, but I've got Christmas morning fever. The suspense is killing me. Those damn screws. Oh yeah. And there she is, folks. Some great 
valve block detail at the base of the boom. It's nice to see individual metal lines replicated. These machines are so large that they actually have walkways around the components. So you can see this walkway at the rear, which gives you access to the engine bay doors for service and checks and maintenance. You can see the nice perforated walkway. Have some nice cab roof detail in the lights. Not sure what this little detail is on the rear. I'm assuming it could be aircon filtration system. And on the rear we have the fire extinguisher units. We have a very large exhaust. I assume that that's some sort of exhaust sound deadening uh, muffler. Uh, or it could be for emissions treatment, I'm not too sure. And then we have the air filter intake housings with nice pipe detail going down into the engine bay. And then, I have no idea what this object is here. Perhaps some uh, Komatsu engineers out there could uh, drop us a comment and let us know what that is. Um, don't know, no idea. So yeah. First impressions, lovely. Nice fine metal railings, very sharp, straight. Nice hose detailing, the little fittings, superbly replicated. Retainer caps on the pins and hinges. So yeah, I reckon we should get her out of the polystyrene and have a proper looky. Hopefully I've got these screws undone correctly. trend of late seems to be wrapping the tracks in a shrink wrap style or plastic tape bit fiddly to get off but ensures everything stays in place for travel uh, just seen this nice little access ladder it won't move initially does it have a smart locking mechanism on the side not sure I just don't want to force that have a little zoom in not too sure how that's retained I think this top pin holds the red locking hinge in place. Nice little hydraulic cylinder replicated on the bottom. Nice perforated engine bay grills.
I didn't get to uh, Bomber last new last year in Germany. I'm pretty sure it was a PC four thousand they had on display there. I was there for the previous show. They had a PC seven thousand, and it was very impressive to see. Uh, just as it sits, it's just reminding me of the show. Of course, that was a brand new painted machine, as is the model. The hydraulic hose detail is fabulous. Especially liking the little blocks. We have the eye holes on the booms for craning the machine into position for assembly. We have some lovely sharp bucket uh, ground gauge and tool detail on the side and the cutting edge. Lovely bucket detail. Pesky polystyrene. You have a funny little Casting on the rear. Again, I'm not too sure what this is for. Mr. Komatsu Engineer, if you're watching, you would let us know. Perhaps it's some sort of lifting eye for assembling the counterweight onto the machine. I'm not too sure. We have a little uh, cable tie holding the rear access ladder into place. Just for a little more suspense. Although the biggest reward is past. Nice firm action. We obviously have a hydraulic cylinder underneath. Yes. There it is. That uh, so gives a nice resistance to the action. And there she is. We have another emergency access ladder on this side. I believe this is new legislation as a result of machine fires where uh, the exits from the machine were blocked for the operator. So new, new exit ladders had to be incorporated into more recent machine design. You can just see into the dark cab, it's operator seat and levers and pedals nicely detailed in a different color very dark in there because of course these machines work in very hot countries so they have a lot of sunshade protection and as you can see they also have a lot of lights because of course these machines do not stop they work right around the clock through the night shift into the darkness you can see the large greasers replicated here and you can see the spare chassis hydraulic cylinder mounts which I'm assuming are for the backhoe version So, I 
think that just about covers a brief overview of this model which as I expected from NZG is a lovely robust heavy oh yes it's certainly very heavy metal model from this quality manufacturer as usual we'll do a little comparison right after we have a look at the tracks I'll just take these plastic wrappings off there we go that's the plastic removed to reveal beautiful track pads the table does not have very grippy surface so the tracks just don't have quite, quite enough friction to roll freely but that's a reflection of my table more than the tracks we have turning bottom rollers nicely detailed and also three rotating top rollers see if we have yep we have a very strong idler spring this takes nearly two fingers to push in apologies for the shaky camera work yeah nice strong spring the hinges in those tracks must be quite strong because there's a lot of tension on them as you can see in the way the track snaps back into position lovely you can see the travel motor and reduction boxes modeled quite a pronounced object on the real machine this design hails back to the DMAG origins of Komatsu large excavators mining excavators some would say a little bit vulnerable but if the operator is paying attention they should be okay and of course these should be facing the rear of the machine and away from the front working envelope let's try a little pose I reckon it's going to be an arm wrestle lovely action a super machine very pleased so yeah as I said a little comparison so let's bring down one of its younger brothers older sisters and line her up couldn't find an older brother or sister to compare with so we'll have to do with the cousins here we have full range the two, three, and four thousand series excavators and face shovels. I have a few more to collect. I'm hoping to get my hands on the diesel version PC eight thousand by Bimo. I missed the boat, unfortunately. I'm still searching for one at a price I am willing to pay. And uh, they seem quite scarce. So if anybody sees one, 
private message me. <laughs> Don't put it in the link or somebody else will get it. So yeah, guys. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I enjoy sharing my hobby with fellow enthusiasts. So drop a little comment. Tell me what you'd like to see next. I'll do my best to keep these videos coming. Give me a thumbs up, be greatly appreciated. And if you subscribe, it would just totally make my day. That's her up on the shelf, uh, fast running out of space. Um, big thanks out to O and H Collectibles for extremely fast postage. Um, some great prices. Uh, they were the cheapest I could find online. I bought it on eBay, so check out the seller, o &H Collectibles. Again, very fast shipping. Big shout out, big thanks. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Till the next edition. Over and out.